Hey Scorpios, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly conversation with your person. Open conversation, whatever they want to talk about. Whatever the cards bring out, that's what we'll be talking about. This week we're going to use Maruk X's love situation. Find out what the person is focused on. Our deck we're talking with is Steampunk. And then our conversation deck is our lover soulmate twin flames. Divine Feminine and Masculine. We got both sides, active and passive energy in the deck. Let's jump in. Let's see whose energy is the strongest for my Scorpios. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out to see if I was able to pick up energy there. It's my Scorpios. Let's find out what your person's focused on when it comes to your connection and you. Pop. We've got happiness. Finding finding happiness. Happy ending. Feeling blessed and grateful. There's one standing with it. Healing. Reevaluating needs. Self-care. Self-love. And moving forward. Ooh. Okay. What else popped out here? We've got third party. Love triangle. Something is interfering. Competition and enemy. What else? We've got beauty. Intimidated by your beauty. Your beauty stands out. Physical attraction. Ow, that's coming with a third party here. Ooh. Ooh, hang on to it. See what else is going on here. What else are they? They are focusing on a lot. Yes, they are. We've got hot cold, sends mixed signal, signals, inconsistency, inscrutable, and lack of clarity. Hot cold. What else? Dry spell, sexual abstinence, no action in love, a long time being single. Ooh, a dry spell. There's no. Uh, uh, okay. Hmm. Hold the energy on with that, guys. So, I thought we were starting out good over here with the healing, the happiness, finding happy, blessed, grateful. But we definitely got somebody that their brain is running amok. They're maybe misreading signals they're and thinking there is a third party. Um, they are very much intimidated by your looks, the, your, the physical attraction, attract that you exude they think everybody is is wanting you so it makes them feel unsafe and unsteady in this connection we may <laughs> seriously this may be our energy our own energy of I'm, I'm, I'm not i'm not doing it with you know i'm not doing you know staying in a connection where somebody does not know how to trust and can't trust that kind of thing because it's, it's bringing in the energy that tell them telling me somebody is way too possessive way too i've got to know everything you're doing every move you're making why did you talk to this person that kind of thing i mean they are just and when we get frustrated it's like they're saying that we confuse them hot and cold and then we don't of course we don't want intimacy with them because they've stressed the ever living F out of us, y'all. Ooh. Guys, Scorpio. So I wasn't expecting this. Let's jump into the conversation. Oh. Find out what's going on. And y'all know the energies can be flipped. It, however, it fits your circumstances. Because I'm just reading it as the person coming forward. This might be their energy. Of they're the ones that has got the suspicious mind. They're not able to trust. They want to. There's part of them that tells them they can. But there's a part of them that is in panic mode. Oh, no, I can't. I can't trust. So they'll start questioning everything. Let's see what they're saying on happiness. Ow, oh, motivation, passion, the fire, ace of wands, motivated. Overwhelmed by choices. Ooh, not grounded in the way of thinking. Their heads weigh into the clouds. What else? Knight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, the slow building energy of grounding ourselves out in the Two of Pentacles change. This is about balancing and learning how to um, create 
healthy routine, daily routines for yourself. But it's also very much about learning, learning something new. Uh, so yeah, mm, change, definitely change on the Two of Pentacles. Tell me more. And Two of Swords. We're getting a lot of two energy on, on this energy of happiness and self-care. Trying to heal and overcome. Slowly building back from that. On the bottom of the deck, we had the Queen of Wands. And the Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Wounded Warrior. Looking to the future. Not sure we've got a future with this one and how it will turn out if it's worth our time and energy. But we definitely got someone's attention, Scorpio, totally on us. So, yeah. What else? Not sure what's going to manifest, uh, What the what's going to happen. Ooh, what went off on us, guys? But uh, this person is not sure about where we're headed in the future if we do have a future if we can even begin to think about a future uh, just not sure and that might be your energy showing up uh, from their perspective on the bottom of the deck let's shuffle it around some because like i said i'm picking up whoever this is who this is one person's energy this is the other person's energy this person's energy over here is like enough's enough you know I'm, I'm overwhelmed by what's going on and i need to focus in on myself right now and healing from this because on you know on a mental emotional level and this is what's showing the inner tug of war between your heart and your mind uh, so yeah it can definitely take a toll on on your the way you look at yourself uh -huh. make you feel bad about yourself of like I should you know I'm a trustworthy person if somebody keeps insinuating you're not it takes a toll on you let's come down to third party and intimidated by your beauty death card change transitioning things changing ten of wands heavy stress and burden Ooh, patience and persevered. Put, tried to push through, but things have changed and become way too challenging for us. That's the Gemini Knight of Swords. He's our challenger. And there's an opportunity, but we're standing in, um, not quite sure we want to take that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Normally, this card tells us to be optimistic about things, but we might be standing in pessimism and the hermit card, introspection, feeling very alone. So, this person is definitely constantly, whoever is, you know, got this energy is constantly uh, feeling like uh, things are changing between us. Mm -hmm. That we've got introspection and we don't want to be in the connection. Communications are hard and it's a big burden and a struggle. A lot of heavy energy in the connection. Over here on Hot and Cold, we've got Libra, Wanton Truth. What else? Oh, they're having anxiety. But also, sacrifices, compromises, have you just settled for me? Ooh, but it's also like mentality coming in on that dry spell also of the intimate. See, things feel stuck. We're needing to see things from a different perspective. And Leo, King of Wands, motivation and being inspired. Tell me more about him. To move forward away from the storm. Some, somebody definitely wants to work on the connection, work through the issues. I'm not quite sure if it's possible to. This person uh, that's... Bringing all this energy forward into the connection has got to work on their self. Two cups energy or equal exchange of energy is off balance, way off balance. The Libra scales are off balance. Compromises and sacrifices and we've got regrets and this person feeling like they're constant, be, constantly a disappointment and being left behind. Strength card. Ooh, it's going to take time to get to know each other. Healthy boundaries. I'll say... Yeah, slow building energy to actually build healthy boundaries. Get to know each other in this connection. 
But somebody's holding out hope and faith. Uh -huh. They want a committed relationship. But it's hard right now for them. Because regardless of whether there's a third party or not, they'll always think there is. That kind of thing. And there will always be misreading uh, signals from us. That's the whole point of the Leo Strength card is to get to know each other on an intuitive level. How to read each other's energy and not be misreading it. Let's get on talking. Let's come in on this person's energy over here with the happiness. What do they want to say? I do have fantasies about you. Maybe they are le better left in that space. I realize I was selfish. I feel ashamed of that. I sometimes regret having told you how I feel about you. I should have hidden my feelings from you. This is the real thing I know. I feel heartbroken. Don't think I don't care. I do. I just feel stuck right now. So anything else before we move on? Yep, there it is. A lot of big changes have happened. I'm trying to figure things out. Mm -hmm. That death card, big changes. Let's come in on that center. Let them talk there for a minute. Get quite a few. I needed to make healthy boundary. A healthy boundary. I wasn't trying to hurt you. The thought of you with anyone else drives me crazy. I try not to think about that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do, so I do nothing. My heart is still open to you. I haven't felt this way about anyone else ever. Uncharted territory. Did I lose you? I'm not sure how to best approach you. I'm thinking about it. Let's get them over here on that hot, cold, and dry spell. Talk to us. Talk to us on that. Talk. Let's forgive each other and move forward without regrets of the past holding us back from true love. I feel like it was easier for you to walk away. Are you gone for good? Ooh, fingers work. There we go. I don't feel this way with anyone else. I wanted to run, but didn't. I tried to make healthy boundaries, but I feel like you didn't understand. I know you're with others. I don't like it, but I've learned to accept it for now. I didn't want to let you go. I just didn't know where to go with this. And I will always love you. If you came back, I would give you another chance. Ooh, hold the energy on the deck. Guys, ooh. Let's go back to the tarot. <clears throat> Let's ask their true desires, which I think we already know their true desires, but we're going to ask anyway, see if they'll, what they'll bring out for us. Because they definitely, you know, they, they want to work on this connection. They keep mentioning boundaries, healthy boundaries, healthy boundaries. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> Let's see what their true desire is. Towards my Scorpios, talk to us. Pop. There's uncertainty about the future. Mm -hmm. But they're on fire inspired. We got the page of wands. That's the fire inspiration and motivation. But our page is at standstill energy uh, in some doubt, uh, uncertainty about things, not knowing what action to take. Then we have the hair pump. They definitely want a commitment. They want. To stay in, and persist. Keep going with the connection. Three of Pentacles to work on things together. Mm -hmm. And long term. Out long term. They're thinking lifetime long term. The Ten of Pentacles. What else? 
Oh, the battle wagon, the chariot, cancer energy, bringing in fourth house energy on home and hearth. Uh, to be going in the same direction rather than being pulled apart. So there, there's just uncertainty. The person is not quite sure what to do right now. I th and, um, did they not pull a Queen of Wands energy? I think they did on you. The Queen of Wands of the, you've got their attention. You're also leading the way. Yeah, they'll fo they'll take they'll follow your lead. Uh, when it comes to the connection and working on the connection. Because they are they are at standstill. They don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get them to focus in on the deck. They want to give you final messages from Scorpio. Scorpio's person, bring it to us. Bring it to us. Oh, okay. Y'all, I have my hands all over the shadow decks. <laughs> it's not on the shadows. It's on the roses. The light side of the rose deck. We'll take it. Scorpio's person, talk to us. Talk to us. Bring it out. We have shared many past lives together. You're so beautiful. I just want to see you smiling with true happiness. Please try to understand how I feel. I don't know why, but I always doubt your love for me. I'm hoping and praying. I really do love you. I want you in my life always, always. Last one, guys. I almost hate how much I love you. Oh, Scorpio, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you next time. Bless be.